Alina Rabakina versus Arena Sabalenka is a final for Indian Wells for 2023. And both ladies have been very impressive to get to the final stage. Rabakina started the tournament off as the number 10 seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Sophia Kennan, a fellow Grand Slam champion. And this would be a very tough match for Rabakina getting through in straights 7 6, 7 6. In the third round, she take on 2021 champion and 21st seed Bedosa. And after a second set that was close, Rabakina would eventually get through 6 3, 7 5. In the fourth round, she take on the qualifier Gracheva who had just beaten Kazakina along the way. And this was by far the best match for Rabakina, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6 love, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rabakina would take on the unseeded Mukova, who had been very impressive this week. And after a close first set, this match would go down to three sets, with Rabakina getting through, 7-6, 2-6, 6-4, into her first semifinal since the Australian Open. In the semifinals, Rabakina would take on the number one seed and world number one, Iga Sviantek, a player who she had beaten only a couple of months ago in Australia. And Rabakina just destroyed Sviantek in her most impressive performance of the week, 6-2, 6-2, to get to her first Indian Wells final. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Radina, but this posed no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 6 love. In the third round, she was supposed to play Serenko, who had just beaten Vekic, the 29th seed in the previous round, but Serenko pulled out last minute, and Sabalenka got a walkover win. In the fourth round, she would take on the number 16 seed, Krajikova, the only player to beat Sabalenka this season. And after dropping the second set, Sabalenka would again have to fight to win the match, this time winning in three, 6-3, 2-6, 6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on the number six seed, Goff, and had some very close matches with Goff in the past. But this match, Sabalenka looked amazing, winning easily in straight sets, 6-4, six, 6-love, six, to get to the semis. In the semifinals, Sabalenka would take on the number seven seed, Zachary, who made the final here last year. But just like against Goff, Sabalenka was on another level, getting through in straights, 6-2, six, 6-3, six, to advance to the final. These two have played four times before, with Sabalenka leading the head-to-head 4-0, -head but every single match that they've played has gone to three sets, including the Australian Open final only two months ago. If Rabakina is going to win this one, she needs to serve well, and she needs to make Sabalenka move. These players are so similar in the way they play. It's pretty much the exact same keys to the match for both. But Rabakina, she's going to have to make Sabalenka move from the start and get that serve working. If Sabalenka is going to win this one, she also needs to make Rabakina move and serve well. It's probably going to come down to tie breaks or maybe serves in the end and who maybe double faults more but Rebecca has been very impressive despite being a slow court so Sabalenka is going to have to make her run this is a very very interesting matchup here and the 4-0 head-to-head is a little bit misleading because most of those matches in fact all of those matches have gone three sets but I'm going to go with Sabalenka she just looks so different this year compared to everybody else and she's dominated everyone she's played except for that one loss that she's had I think she's going to get the win over Rebecca again just like she has the last four matches they've played let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one